Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Flurp. Um, you may have recall uh, a, a game I played a long time ago called Snickerks. Um, it was a very small kind of you could almost call it a progenitor to the survival like it was a little roguelite and it had some drafting mechanics meaning uh there was like synergies with between classes and stuff and uh you know it was kind of hot off the auto chess ish um you know mechanics and, and it was interesting it had some snake mechanics it was fun um this is not related meaning uh it's not by the same developer but it is related in that it is very definitely and obviously inspired um but with a different twist so we're gonna get into it um this one as i understand it is a self-proclaimed tower defense meets arena survival like and if you are sick of the survival like i understand but i urge you to consider that you know every new take at the genre might produce or uh, present new things or new mechanics that you might appreciate and breathe a bit new life into uh, a genre that you might might be feel almost inundated with. But uh, this looked really appealing to me. I haven't actually tried it yet, but it, it looked like it was going to be a winner. So I, I have some faith. So we're going to start. Um, this is our core. I'm not sure what I'm doing actually. Are, are we are we going to die? Uh, I feel like I'm going to die. I feel like I was supposed to build some things. I did have some money. You know what? Hold on a second. Main menu. <laughs> I'm very good at this game and video games in general, as you can see. Um, hmm. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, all right, so we have a bird keeper. Wind summoner shoots three projectiles that deal 10 damage. Every three shots summon three minions. I do like minion summoners. That was an expensive buy, though. Um, this one... I don't know what the cost is, though. Oh, I see. The cost is, like, on the top. So we could get a... Spearman stabs enemies for 12 damage. Ignites up to three enemies in range, dealing six damage. All right, let's get this. I'll throw that down. And now we've spent all our money. And we can see here, uh, this has similar drafting mechanics. Um, so if you get other towers that kind of fall in line with, uh, say, Wind, Summoner, or Blaze, they're going to gain extra advantages for doing so. I don't think we need uh, the Profiler, although I guess the Profiler gives us some really good transparent information on uh, how much damage we're doing. So we can see our Bird Keeper is clearly winning. Oh, and we can go around the map and pick up the XP. That's a nice touch, actually. They could have very easily just had the XP automatically go towards the core, but I kind of appreciate that you have to collect it manually. So, uh, I'm not sure. I wonder, can we, like, pause? Are we buying stuff as this game progresses? Because that's kind of interesting, if so. I believe we already have something in the blaze mechanic. Wait, what, what happened? Did we buy it, or did we not buy it? Uh, let's buy a Spearmint. So, okay, this game is in real time. And when you level up, you get gold instead of just getting new stats. Uh, attacks will instantly kill enemies below 10%. All units gain plus 20% damage. When a burned enemy dies, they will also burn nearby enemies. That sounds good, since we're kind of building into this arsonist, uh, thing. All units gain plus 5% attack speed for each friendly wind unit. Um, I kind of like, power just sounds really good. I don't know what it means by units. Does that mean tower or the units that we summon? Okay, so, uh, this is a pirate and a warrior. We want to reroll these. kind of wish there was a pause feature while I just kind of like get my bearings. Um, this is a win, another wind caster. This summons, uh, homing missiles. So we're gonna summon that. That's gonna double down for a win. We need four wind structures before we can actually get more. I don't know if there's a limit to how many towers we can have. Uh, I appreciate the, uh, information in this game. Like, it very clearly gives us, um, you know, details. Like, for instance, oh, Buccaneer clearly synergizes with something we already have. 
So let's throw that down. Um, so we can see we're actually, we, ha we have a synergy now. So we have two wind structures and I guess that was enough to get a plus 20% attack speed. And that's great because they summon, at least one of our units summons units, the, the more they attack. Um, you know, the reason I keep coming back to the Arena Survival Lake is not necessarily because I really like the Arena Survival Lake. I think it's fine. Um, the reason is, is I think that uh, it has a lot of potential for um, growth and novelty. Like, it is a fairly new-ish, it's not really new, it's just a different format on the roguelite structure. But it has potential to, like... Um, genre mash with a lot of different things and here we have tower defense v uh drafting mechanics v arena survival and you know the arena survival all that really means is you have a vehicle for gaining progression and uh, you know having big and exciting synergies that, that feel good we're gonna level up our spearmen i think they are like much higher level now um we want another arcane so I'm still not sure what the limitation... I guess we can only have eight towers, so we might want to start decommissioning towers at a certain point. And I guess uh, at a certain point, when you buy a tower that you already have, it just levels them up, rather than buying a new one. So, like, you know, very recently... I'm going to turn this down a bit, I'm sorry. Um, very recently, I tried... I think it was called Neophyte. Which was another take on the arena survival like and i really liked it that's like honestly one of my favorite entries into the arena survival genre and you know this is encouraging to me that the arena survival genre it's it's not necessarily already doa like you know we, we don't have um just a bunch of games that are exactly the same as uh, Vampire Survivors. Uh, we certainly do have a lot of games which are trying to recapture the same format, but we also have a lot of games that are like, hmm, you know, that's cool. That's a nice little, uh, a nice basis for uh, a game. Let's let's take that and run with it. All minions deal 100% more damage. That sounds really good for us. Uh, all chaining attacks. No, we don't have chaining attacks. All units gain plus 5% attack speed for each friendly wind unit. Oh, that sounds great, actually. Um, I really liked the Snickers kind of, um, aesthetic and style. And, uh, you know, like, it, it was very minimalist. But I don't, you know, I think that that's fine. And I think that, that it, it has a lot of room for, uh, you know, like, you don't you don't need some, a game to look necessarily amazing. You just need to have a style and stick to it. And I think that this definitely does. Quartermaster. We, we could kind of double down on our pirate theme. Have a war leader. Attacks enemies for 15 damage every attack. Summon a minion. Oh, that sounds good. So we have apparently, you know, we've officially reached our limits to how many structures that we have. So we're going to have to consider selling units. Um, I don't know how many... Yeah, I mean, clearly our bird keeper is still, like, the big damage dealer. I, don't, I think we could probably start getting rid of... Warriors are actually our, like, our best synergy right now, but I don't think they're really doing all that much damage. Given the option, I think I would continue to grab wind um, and let's let's see here. What what is this? This is wind and arcane. So I, I guess I would double down on wind summoner and arcane. Unfortunately, I think one of our items, and I'm not sure which one. Wait a minute. What is this? Shop level two. How do we get to shop level two? Oh, I get. I see. We we are at shop level two. Huh. Um. Let's level up our buccaneer and our hero. We roll again. Um, that's so satisfying, actually, picking up all of the, the stuff. Raven is shadow and wind. So we're going to have to sell some stuff. Um, we could sell the warrior, but that would... Or pirate, but that's not necessarily a great idea. Warrior and summoner is good because it's... We're going to have to sell the blaze. I think that's going to have to be the one. So let's buy a raven. 
And that raven, oh, look at that. Can we move these around, I wonder? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so once you've placed it, you're kind of stuck. Not necessarily a problem. Um, Frost, Blizzard, Chainer. We can level up Hero, maybe. Oh, I see we have dots at the bottom that tell us that we can level up the hero. So the, the, the hero, I think, is like max level now. Bird Keeper is gonna need, we're gonna need a lot of Bird Keepers. Evil Eyes, Shadow, and Support. We could kind of double down on Shadow, but I think we already have too many things going on. Might actually get rid of the uh, Arcane, oh, sorry, the Wizard. Because we don't really have enough Arcane to yeah, I don't know, maybe if we could get some more arcane, then it would be worth it. So we could get this cursor. We could like uh, sell our buccaneer and then buy the cursor for more arcane. Upgrade our wizard. Um, we want to we want to level up as much as possible, or re-roll as much as possible. 20% chance to summon an additional minion whenever a minion is summoned. Oh, that sounds really good. Um, yes. Let's gain more minions. Even more minions. Um, so we could get, I think we, we don't have an imp. So we could double down on imp, but I don't think we need to. No more space for new units. Did I, I, did I sell my hero? No, we have a level 3 hero, that's why. Um, so that's wind here. I think we might sell our spearmen. Because we're going to need some more... I want more arcane and summoners. Oh, and this is wind. Um, yeah, tough, tough choices. We have some really tough choices here. And then this guy, who is a, another a wind... Um, actually, did I just buy an imp? Where, where, what is this? Which is arcane and summoner? Windcaster was wind and arcane. We actually don't have a lot of summoning. Do we? No, we have the bird keeper. So what is this? Hero. Okay, let's sell the hero. And then buy a stormlinger. That's gonna be wind. I would like to get the cloud knight. Where, what is our... We still have a war leader, which is warrior. I feel like this cursor is actually not. Well, yeah, let's let's get out of cursor. Now, now we have a uh, plus forty percent attack speed, which is going to give us more minions. I haven't really been paying attention to how well we're doing, how much damage we've taken. I don't. I think we're doing okay. What is this Yeti Frost Mythical? We do have a we have a witch, so we can upgrade the, the witch. Um, okay, we're getting some really interesting units here. I almost wonder if we I should like bail on something and pull, take something else, because that's how kind of how these things work. Is you wanna you wanna abandon some of your um, level like your your older towers, even if they're doing really good damage, because you could get like a mythical tower that does really good damage. Like for instance, we could bail on this war leader and then grab a necromancer. Upgrade the witch. Uh, upgrade the windcaster. We, I guess it can get a wizard again. Choose a, uh, an item. All units regenerate. All shadow units gain more range. Enemies have a 25% chance to spawn chilled. All units gain plus 50 armor. I'm not sure what any of this is good for. I'll get the armor. Uh, do we have any eagle? No, we don't have any eagle eye. We don't have any of this. We don't have any of this. I'm just gonna keep re-rolling in the hopes that we can upgrade some of our stuff. Necromancer, Bird Keeper, ooh, Battle Mage, Arcane Duelist, we don't need that. Um, okay, we're just gonna keep rerolling. Bird Keeper, yes, we finally upgraded our Bird Windcaster, and I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more, because it's it's getting to be very abrasive. 
Um, can't have another windkeeper. We could have a lich. I, I have to imagine the list is, lich is pretty good, right? It chains, though. It doesn't summon. We have so much money right now. Uh, might be good to have another bird keeper at this point. What kind of... Apparently we still have a warrior. Oh, this wizard... And I think the wizard is actually not really helping us. Shadow Chainer, Guardian, Controller, Support. Let's grab another Bird Keeper. I don't know if that counts towards the synergy though. Having like a duplicate uh, unit. There's our Necromancer. Witch, Witch. Um, we're good on that Necromancer. So at this point we're just, I'm like, I'm just rolling through this as, as quick as possible to upgrade our units. Sky Maiden. Which is wind. That is actually wind. Um, what would it be worth t removing? Not the raven. Maybe the necromancer, unfortunately. You know what? Probably the second... Um, let's get rid of the second bird keeper. And do sky maiden. Because that's got to be good. What does this do, even? Gives all allies in range, plus 15 bonus attack speed. Yeah, that's amazing. Because all of our stuff functions on attack speed. We'll um, increase our Stormlinger uh, Necromancer. This is a really hectic game and in a really good way. Like, I'm honestly more engaged than a lot of the movement based ones. Windcaster. Choose an item. All shadow units gain plus 20% range. Attacks will instantly kill enemies. All support unit buffs are stronger. All units gain plus 12% damage for each friendly un support unit. That sounds good because we have a lot of... Wait, actually that might not be good. It might be the t terminology needs uh, kind of an up update. Because like I, I, that to me says support unit meaning like ones we spawn, not necessarily support tower. So we, we do have the maximum synergy on wind, which is fantastic. Wind Blade rapidly flings wind bolts at targets, dealing 5.3 damage each. That sounds really, really good. It is a duelist. Um, we apparently have three to, out of six chainers. So what could I get rid of? Probably the Necromancer. Whenever four enemies die in range, summon a minion. Probably is doing a lot of work for us, actually. Windcaster. I don't know what I would get rid of. You know what? We, I get rid of the witch. I'm gonna get rid of the witch for the wind blade. Because the wind blade is gonna, gonna get an immediate bonus from our synergy. Arctic Knight, Bird Keeper. We, we're good on the Bird Keeper. Windcaster. Wind Blade. I'm just leveling up everything as much as possible. Oh, Tempest! Creates a vortex at a location that sucks in all enemies and deals 31 total damage. What in the world would I get rid of for that? The Necromancer. Okay, we're going we're going full wind. Going full wind. Might be a mistake, but I'm gonna try it. Uh Lich. Windcaster, Windcaster, Blizzard, Frost Lord. I think I'm doing all right. I, honestly, I'm barely paying attention to like the enemy situation. I'm just like trying to re-roll as fast as possible. Tempest, Stormbringer, Root Keeper. Uh, we also have, are getting like tons of interest because I, I have enough money that it just like is absurd. Cloud Knight. Arctic Knight. Weavern. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Would I want to get rid of something for the Weavern? Maybe the Raven? Two Ravens circle around, dealing 26 damage to enemies they touch. Oh, did I just take some damage? Choose an item. All support unit buffs. All arcane. All minions deal more damage. All Okay, more, more minion damage. I think we are officially taking some damage. Oh, my towers are taking damage. Okay, so I I died. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, wow. Okay. Survive for 30 minutes to unlock New Game Plus. I survived for half of that. So, what did the most damage? The Bird Keeper. Uh, that's really funny, actually, to me. It did 175,000 damage versus a lot of the other things. I don't know if this is a very fair statistic. I think what I would prefer rather than total damage is average DPS. Because the thing is, is total damage is going to favor whatever tower stayed on the field for longest. Um, damage dealt. I'd rather have average DPS because then that tells me a bit more about, uh, you know, how worthwhile that tower is. So now it comes to my unfortunate least favorite part of every let's try is let's let's look at the meta progression. So this game does have meta progression and it is pretty much uh, exactly what you'd expect is that you can just upgrade like I think a type of unit. This is just a type of unit gain plus two starting gold. Oh no, some of these are just like you get more gold, you get more stuff, you get a bit of a leg up and so therefore um, your, your run is not going to be as um you know valid the first or second time sorry yeah first or second time versus your third time after you've gotten some of the upgrades and that's just like you know par for the course uh, i'm not even gonna like bother with my whole spiel on that anymore because it, it just doesn't matter like anymore um every game is gonna have that mechanic and i'm never gonna really like it but at least i i can appreciate a game up until the point that i it has that meta progression i think my um my new stance is if the games are short enough and the stakes are low enough it won't actually matter too much to me it's fine it's just it is whatever um and you know this game expects a game or hopes that a, an actual game will last 30 minutes. I think that's actually kind of on the high side um, considering the meta progression because it means that you're going to have to play like a few 15 minute games, 15, 20, 30 minute games in order to unlock some of those features. Um, the best case scenario is that you can like beat the game on your first try if you're better at it than me uh, and you don't actually need the meta progression. But I don't know if that's the case and that's generally why I have a problem with it in the first place. So, um, with all of that being said, it uh, doesn't, doesn't really hurt my impressions of the game too much. Um, it is what it is. I still think that this is pretty cool and I'd actually like see myself playing this in my off time. All enemies spawn with 20% less armor. The first attack against an enemy deals damage. All units gain plus 5% attack size for each friendly blaze unit all arcane units deal more damage let's do that and then we could like double down on arcane i don't know if i'll do a f another full run but um you know i'm i at least not not right now but i am i am interested i like what's funny to me is that the towers themselves have health is that the case 50 out of 50 hp okay so they do have health so you you're not just trying to protect your core you're also trying to protect your actual tower units. Interesting. Um, I, I, I don't think that that's wrong. It is kind of uh, weird that like you can spend a lot of time and energy and money upgrading these towers and then they would just die. That would generally lead to a cascade event where you just like lose everything. Um, but that's not necessarily like, you know, bad. Um, so we already have a prisoner shoots one chaining projectile that deals damage. We could do that. I want to start like get arcane as soon as possible. I'll get the bird just because I like the bird. But I'm I'm looking to double down on arcane. Well, I guess the bird, the windcaster, uh, the bird keeper is not arcane, but the windcaster is. I don't have enough for it though. There we go. Um, so I'm not really seeing anything yet for Arcane. We already have enough Arcane though that we're getting extra magic missiles. So that's kind of nice. Didn't realize I, I already had three Arcane. At this point we could um, just kind of like sit back and relax for a bit collect some uh, interest on our on our gold. We've got enough 
towers and synergies happening that we don't have to worry too much. We are receiving a little bit of interest, not a lot. I do, I do enjoy just kind of like collecting the XP every once in a while, just like, you know, making a sweep and collecting all of the XP. All right, so let's let's re-roll a couple times. Is this arcane? Nope. None of this is arcane. I don't think you necessarily have to double down on one synergy. I think the winning strategy for a lot of these games is to have a couple of synergies. Because if you get like exactly the right um, towers, you can probably get the max um, buff from more than one you know, synergy, like you could get Summoner and Arcane, and maybe that's a really good route. Uh, I think it helps ac actually to have a working knowledge of like all of the different combinations there are. Only this game plus five attack size for each friendly blaze. Pirates, magic missiles can hit plus two units. Okay, well, I think magic missiles is the way we want to go for sure. Okay, uh, more wizards, this is good. How, how is our, our witch and wizard are both kind of uh, carrying this time, but they were also some of my first towers, so not not exactly fair. Level up our witch. Could level up the prisoner. The prisoner is like serving to do a bit of extra damage, and it's it's okay. Uh, where is the prisoner? Uh, that's not nothing. There we go. The witch, uh, sorry, the wizard is like I think fully leveled now, which is great because they're the one doing homing uh, magic missiles. Um, we could get another wizard. Sure, let's get another wizard. Just until we find another arcanist, and then we just why not? We'll just like level up our second wizard. I feel like mythical is its own class. These also tell you um, like what they do at level three. Like for instance, what does the wizard at level three do? More missiles, shoot two more magic missiles instead. Oh, shoot two magic missiles instead. Okay, so they all have like an extra added effect uh, when they get to level three, which is pretty nice. Um, we'll just level up when and now our, our second wizard is at level two. Which I, I have to imagine they they also benefit from uh, the the advantage. They maybe do not contribute to this energy, but they do probably take advantage of it, which is good. No interest. We're not getting any interest, any interest yet. Um, hmm. Still looking for another arcanist. We're at six minutes so far. I feel like things were a bit more, uh, I don't know, intense at this stage of the game in my last playthrough. Well, I guess we're continuing to level up our wizard. Having two level three wizards would not be a terrible thing. Pyromaniac, duelist. Level up. Maybe we should start working on gaining some interest. I wonder if placement has much of any strategy. Like I, you know, I just kind of like put them near the core and that's fine. But it, uh, it doesn't seem to have too much effect on, on the game. I almost wonder if there's a, a missed opportunity there. It is a tower defense. I almost wonder if it would be worthwhile if you could like build walls or something. Shield enemies, all units gain more health, all units gain 10 armor, uh, guardian, no, let's let's just gain more health. So hopefully they're less prone to death this time. Just like trying to collect all the XP. We're at level 15 so far. I don't know what the like 
of what the stagger is for um, when we get our items. Alright. I think we can start spending again. Um, oh, well, more wizards, sure. Still looking for more arcane arcanists. It's it's fine. Funny that they're not showing up. Maybe maybe they need to be in a, like we need to level up the shop a couple of times first. Oh, there we go, a cursor. Um, all right, so let's sell the buccaneer and summon the cursor. What is this? Oh, this is an arcanist. We'll probably sell that next. Every second enemy that dies in range. Um, Shoots out one homing magic missile that deals 10 damage. Okay. So that sounds pretty good. Do we have anything else here? We do have the bird keeper. May as well level that up. Uh, Raven, prisoner again. I'm not going to level up the prisoner anymore because we are eventually going to get rid of that. Uh, we'll level up the wizard and the witch. It's still funny to me that we're leveling up the wizard to almost level 3 at this point. Like, it'd almost be worth keeping them. Let's go ahead and collect our XP. The, uh, you know, enemies are getting kind of close, I won't lie. Which paladin? I haven't, I haven't seen the paladin before, I don't think. We have our cur uh, cursor. Blizzard... Blizzardess? Blizzard is larger and lasts longer. Is that that's at level three? Okay, so our wizard is now level three. No more space for wizards. <sighs> Do we want to like get rid of the prisoner so we can get another wizard? I guess I am doing that. Third wizard. Why not? I mean, there's plenty of reasons why not. Now we don't have a, a prisoner. We could get a uh, yeti and a weaver. I kind of wouldn't mind trying a mythical build at some point. Alright, let's uh, get some more. Oh uh, yeah, I think we're starting to lose towers. I doubled, doubled down, flew too close to the sun for wizards. Oh well. Oh, uh, what can you do? Well, um, it, it just, it serves, you know, it's just as well that that was a short run. So what can we do here? Haste units gain 10% attack speed. Um, units gain plus 10 range, size, armor, 2 plus 2 starting gold per level. More health and regen, that sounds good. Increased player XP earned by 5%. Yeah, I mean, these, these are like very major upgrades and, you know, uh, take that for what it's worth. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, let's try it, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and if you want to check out Flurp, the link is in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.